Hey there! In today's tutorial, I will show you three handy techniques for customizing your text, your letters in Affinity Designer version 2.5. So here's my text. It is still an editable text, but our first method will involve some vector tools. So we need to extend this text into a regular vector shapes. Keep in mind, this will turn our text into a shape, so we cannot edit the text after that. Head to the top, and on the right side you should be able to see Convert to Curves. Click on that, and now instead of a regular text, we got a group with four different shapes, one for each letter. Feel free to ungroup this. All right, and now we are able to work with the node tool. That's the second move tool, you can say. That's the white one for moving nodes. So the black move tool is moving the whole letter. When we can move the whole letter, we can rotate the letter. We can scale it up and down, of course. But if you wanna modify details, go for the second one called node tool. And now you can just modify those nodes. You can even delete unnecessary nodes. You can pull the line to alter the shape. Take a look. All right, so now we have a great control here. We can use the node tool to make necessary changes in our letters. And that's our very first technique. Expand your text into shapes and then use all of the shape building tools like a node tool. If you need to draw something unique, you can use the pen tool. For example, we can redraw this part using pen tool. Just like that, we can fill it with color now. And then you can select the original letter and the extra shape that you just draw and add them together using add operation. Here it is. Of course, Feel free to modify colors of your letters. You can now change the color of each letter separately as we extend them into shapes. All right, let's try to select and group back everything. Command G will do. The second method of customizing your letters is to apply some layer effects. So you can go for layer effects, then we can get ourselves all the shadow like that adjusting the offset distance i want the radius to be none so it's a very sharp shape change to normal as the blending mode now we can select this color from the first letter a bit darker no transparency and using we just use the the shadow to create this effect. Let's apply gradient from the bottom to the top, a bit less dark, and use the blending mode overlay to mix with the original colors. All right, so now we're customizing the text by applying different layer effects. So there are several different layer effects we can choose from, so feel free to play with them. All right, so we already learned about two methods. The last method, the third method is to warp your text. So let me just temporarily switch off those layer effects. So we've got this text and now I will go down to the warp tool. Using that, I can now select among some presets like this arcing text like that. The font is not the best for arcing text, but I think you got the picture. We can of course go with the regular mesh and we can modify all of that by hand. Take a look. So we are now customizing the text by warping it. We can add new warping lines here to match our needs. Now our shape with the text is inside this work group over here. All right, so there are three methods that I want to share today. First, simply expand your text into shapes and use all of the shape building methods, including node tool. 
Second, you can apply layer effects to your text for some cool unique effects. And the third method, you can warp your text around using the warp tool into arcs, into curves, whatever you like. If you would like to dig a bit deeper and learn more about customizing your letters, I would like to invite you to my extended version of this tutorial. It's 38 minutes long. It's available without any ads directly on my Patreon. So I will drop a link in the description if you would like to watch the extended long version of this tutorial. Thank you for today and I will see you in the next video.